Okay, today I want to talk about uh, siding techniques and using proportion to draw and lay your objects out on uh, your drawing surface. You see an image here, someone in a drawing class using their, their pencil in their hand to measure uh, the objects in front of her. When you, when you do this sort of measuring, this sort of siding technique, you want to make sure that you're in a stationary position of some sort. She's sitting down, so she's, she's not going to be moving uh, forward or backwards too much. But if you're standing, you want to just kind of note where your feet are at. And then she's fully extending her arm, kind of locking her elbow out, so she always has the exact same distance uh, away from her face. Uh, to measure from. If she pulls the pencil in too far or she pulls it out further, you change that proportion and that distance from your from your objects and it changes the measuring all up. All right, so, so extend your arm completely out, kind of lock out your elbow and stay for the most part uh, stationary in terms of where you're at so that you don't mess up that, uh, that dimension. We're going to draw a group of objects here. This is just a Typical kind of still life, kind of a weird composition with this big ceramic piece in the middle, but we'll make it work. First thing you want to do is determine uh, and define your picture plane. We talked about uh, using your hand, your phone, a viewfinder, whatever it is. And we're going to try to get all of these objects in here for the most part uh, and uh, figure out how to lay those all out. So determine your picture plane. What it is you want to draw, you might be cropping things, whatever, but we're going to try to get all these objects in there for the most part. And we're going to start on this ceramic, the center ceramic piece. We're going to start with the bottom part of that ceramic piece, just to do some quick kind of measuring to see what it's going to take to get all of these objects into the drawing. And I would draw this... Uh, this kind of overall proportion here, I would draw a similar square in, in proportion on your drawing page. Something kind of similar. It doesn't have to be perfect, but as a kind of a place to jump off from, and everything will happen then within there, and we've got to make it all fit. So we start with this piece down here, that proportion, <clears throat> using our pencil and our thumb, using the uh, the top of the pencil to note the, the top of that piece of the ceramic part in our thumb to note the bottom that becomes our module the module from which we're going to use to to measure everything else from in the drawing to make sure it fits so if we double that module going up so we know it takes at least two of those of that module to fit in the drawing and approximately three of them just over three of this module is what it's going to take to fit in a vertically fit these all these objects in there. Let's go. I'm going to keep that picture plan on there. Let's go horizontally now using the same piece, that same chunk of uh, the the ceramic piece. We double it. We triple it, and just a little over triple, tripling it uh, to the left. Uh, is what it's going to take tripling the size of that piece of ceramic to get those objects to fit in let's go in the other direction starting there it's probably going to be about the same uh, amount of proportion because that ceramic piece is centered pretty well and it is so it's just about tripling that module uh, the width of the ceramic piece gets uh, everything kind of in the drawing all right so we're about three up three to the left and three to the right to get all those objects in there and I'd make those tick marks based on this module on my drawing sheet and now I know I can fit everything in there and I can start to to measure from here so it's kind of like that three to the left three to the right three up we get all those objects in there now we start to draw them into the picture plane. I like to separate the composition and, and find an object within the composition that's kind of centered like this ceramic piece. And I'll, I'll separate the composition into halves, or in this case, it's in the quadrants, with this being our center point right in the middle of that ceramic piece right there. 
Now using that module again of the, the, the bottom portion of that ceramic, I can find this next portion of the ceramic piece, which is just about uh, doubling that initial proportion. And then, let's see, double is about right there. There's the one of the module, the second module is right there. And then where we catch the third portion of this ceramic piece, it's about a third of the way back from that second module and about a third of the way over to find that piece. So kind of within that module, you can find these other parts of the ceramic piece. And when I draw it, I also want to note I do this all the time as I note the center line of the objects and the center line for this to kind of help me line it up I know that it lands just to the left of the center line I've defined for the drawing and it's got a little bit of a curve to it and I know it and then I can just using the five basic shapes start to rough that ceramic piece in let's find some of the objects left and right I'm gonna get those out of the way so I'm going to go left and right here. I'm going to use again this uh, bottom portion of the ceramic piece. I'm going to double that module. And when I double this initial module, I get to the center line of this basket over here. And that's how I would use, I would find the basket. I would find the center line first. And then about halfway through that module is the left side of the basket so I can pretty much just draw one half and then double that and I can draw the whole thing in there and noting in terms of heights since I had already drawn bing, bing, roughed in this ceramic piece I can kind of note based on that where the heights of this basket lie so when you draw these construction lines is what these are all are the center line and and just the rough outs and and even the, just making some tick marks and lines for where some of these modules land these initial modules these are all construction lines I just leave them in the drawing I just keep them light and let them happen uh, so that I have all these references and I'll draw all these construction lines first like the center line center line through the middle I'll leave that line that line will just be there really light so it's all I'm not erasing that out uh, so I always have some reference of what's on the left and right of the drawing or the top and the bottom of the drawing and these are all called construction lines all right and that you can just start going through using the same technique and measuring with your pencil with your thumb and find the rest of the objects within uh, the picture plan. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, lots of other op uh, demos online if you need more instruction. Um, and I'm gonna kinda do a little demo uh, on a piece of paper to hopefully reinforce everything we just talked about.